Y'all, it'd be really looking like I ate like a full on greasy pork chop looking at my lips. It's just this chapstick, but it's just like, not only did I eat a greasy pork chop, it's like I just smathered, slathered it. I don't know what smathered is all over my face. <laughs> Hello, Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velk, and I'm going to be doing a reading specifically for those that are single, my Cancers that are single. Now, I also do your weekly general reading and also weekly love readings, which I'll put a link to both of them over here should you want to check that out. But in this reading, we're just, this is specifically, again, for my singles, Cancer singles out there who are just looking to figure out what it is that they need to be working on to get into their next love relationship and just trying to hopefully just get some, give you some perspective of just overall what's going on. Um, from both your side and your person that you're going to be meeting side of why it is you haven't connected yet. So if you do enjoy this reading and you do like this this setup, let me know which card called out to you the most in the comments below because I would love to hear about it. Also be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reading because it does help out my channel a lot and I'm super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me, Cancer. But let's just jump into this reading now. Before I start pulling clarifiers, let me just talk about the three cards I pulled. On your side of things, we have the Justice card, Cancer. You're kind of just looking at... It's almost as like, this is like an energy where, I don't want to say entitlement because that has a negative connotation to it, Cancer, but this is almost one of those things where it's just like, you don't know what you're doing wrong. It's almost just like, you're kind of just like at this point where you're just like, it's like, when? <laughs> when is it happening? What, like, how, what do I need to do? How much longer? That kind of thing. Because you, I feel like it's almost like you truly don't see yourself being doing anything wrong necessarily right and i don't think there is a right or wrong right knight of swords on their side of things so this is probably why you haven't met this person yet cancer is because when i see this knight of swords this is someone who has their own issues and when they have their own issues or when i say issues i mean like in terms of like past relationships this is like a social thing in, in this reading it's like a social thing where it's just like someone was burned and now because of they were burned once now they're either burning other people unintentionally or like all their actions they're just trying to find like the smallest hint towards why they can't trust them and they'll cut them out right that's what's going on and so you obviously you don't want to connect to this person quite yet um until they overcome this the energy between you two where it is like you guys are able to share and relate to in this comment in this commonality five of pentacles you both I mean, you both are hopeless romantics, right? And I say hopeless because it's like, you. it feels as if you both are kind of losing out hope, right? You're losing out hope. And so let's just get into this reading, right? Sweet clarifiers already came out for you for your justice card. We have the hermit, the magician, and the stark. Wow. All major arcana on your side. <laughs> My goodness. So let me break this down. This is where it's like, I feel like you've been this person for quite some time, right? This person's by themselves. They've been shining this beacon out into the ocean, waiting for their person to, at sea, to come to them, to notice them, and to come to, like, to reach out to them, right? You're looking for your, you're just looking for your person. You're looking for someone else out in the distance to give their light signal out to you and just be like, hey, I see you, I notice you. You're just looking to be noticed, right? I feel like that's kind of like that energy. You're just looking to be noticed. You're just looking it's just one of those things where it's like you're trying it's almost like you've tried like it's i hear it's like you've tried everything you've been trying to like manifest them in every, any way possible like you've worked on your health you've worked on you know you've gone to a bunch of dating sites with this magician card you've done you've done the most and it's just like it's just you can't reach your star moment and you're still just clicking that light at nighttime trying to give out an sos signal waiting for this person to receive you and you just haven't seen like you haven't gotten a light signal back and it's just like this is like your frustration this is almost as like this has been like your main focus for quite some time now cancer is just looking for love i feel like you've been if you're receiving those you're eating cancer i feel like you've been single for a hot biscuit i'm gonna be honest here there's nothing wrong with it but it's just like i understand your mindset on things and why it's just like kind of like a frustration kind of just where it's just like uh that's why i was saying like this entitlement energy where it's just like but i don't mean it in a negative way where it's just like when it happens it's just like it's about time that it happened because you've been working so hard at trying to manifest this right that's what the magician is for um you work so hard in this so it's just like with all this major arcana it's just like it's about freaking time right so what's going on with them with that nine of swords energy i already kind of Wow. 
<laughs> you like I always do that when I'm actually like genuinely blown away. Eight of Wands has been popping out for a lot of people today. This person is like I would say with it comes to this Knight of Swords energy, they're kind of like they need a they need an ego check. I'm gonna be honest, Cancer, they need a little bit of an ego check. They also what made me go wow was because of this justice card coming in on their side. Now this is letting me know that you guys are wanting the same thing. You guys are both wanting the same thing. And so, but it doesn't feel as if like they're doing like a shining, like an SOS seeking. Dare I say they're not entirely searching for a relationship right now with this Eight of Wands energy. They might be dealing with like a third party with this Three of Cups um, or like they're in like that. You know, when they have like the, like, okay, here's like another storyline, right? They could be owning this Knight of Swords. You know how I said at the beginning with this Knight of Swords, this is like, this is why you aren't connecting with them. I still think it's true partially because of like how they just are like cutting people out and what have you. I feel like this could potentially be because it's like they're going through a breakup or they're going through moving on from someone. It doesn't have to be romantical either. It could just be a friendship, right? Because let me explain this. You have the Three of Cups, and if you received any reading on YouTube, every reader will say this is like that third party energy. This is someone that is dealing with something that has their main focus. And that's why it's because while they're dealing with it, that's why they have this energy because they're in this transition period with this third party of cutting it off, right? Of having justice being served towards them, right? I feel like this is one of those things where if they're put in this kind of position, it's kind of seeming like they had like a long-term relationship. And then you have this eight of wands where it just feels like they can trust no one but themselves, right? But deep down it hurts, right? Same as you, this is the five of pentacle energy on both sides where it's just like you both are kind of like hurting and you're just, hmm. I would say really cancer, you're not, <laughs> I know this is not really make you feel better in any kind of way because you're always putting out this SOS signal looking for your person and doing all that you're doing from as the magician to have like that just like that love that you're looking for i don't feel like you're doing anything wrong i feel like at this point it's kind of up to the other person to take their exit right they're in the process of taking their exit and i see it actively happening so let me just pull some final cards in the middle of you guys see what it is um if we can get any clarification on this five of pentacles and maybe just some general insight as well right what is it that y'all could be working on so okay i'm gonna be honest here uh who are you cancer why did i forget your name cancer uh knight of swords came in on their side you know shuffling for the middle so this is giving me more confirmation again um, <laughs> they're definitely cutting somebody out, but again, this is why you're not with them is because like they're in this energy. You don't want them in this energy right now. They're trying to handle this three, uh, three of cups energy right now. You don't want them at this time. I'm going to be honest, but when you guys do come together, it's interesting. You have this queen of pentacles where it feels like, um, I feel as if, uh, you, if you, hmm, <laughs> that struggle is speaking. This is like one of those energies where I kind of feel as if you can, sir. And maybe on their side as well, when they go through this transitional breakup and they're just not feeling it yet. I feel like this card is more so speaking in terms of you with this Queen of Pentacles, Cancer. You, even though I say you're not doing anything wrong and you're not, I say that you might want to work on yourself a little bit more. Work on your own independence a little bit more. I say this because it's like this person with that Eight of Wands energy, right? They are extremely independent and they're going to be looking, because I don't know, this is just like, obviously I wouldn't know unless I pulled more cards and this is straight off of like what's coming to mind. But it's just like, it feels as if with this last relationship they had, like they weren't having like an equal give and take and they always were the one taking that leadership position in their life and trying to control everything or like handle everything in their life. And it was exhausting, right? Um, because it's like, I feel like this is like a storyline of two whole people coming together. Because the last two cards I pulled was the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, look at both, look at the, girl, I cannot speak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cancer, look at both of these cards. Same thing where they're both reaching up on their own without any help. There's no other energy here. I mean, aside from this bird. But Nine of Pentacles is where it's just like self-sufficiency. Nine of Cups is where it's just like complete happiness 
in terms of everything, in terms of your career, finance, like everything. I just feel so strongly that like it's one of those things where spirit's not going to bring you two together until you guys both don't put your happiness into other people. Queen of Pentacles, she puts the happiness into herself, right? She doesn't base her happiness off of a connection of someone else. She doesn't base her happiness off of an energy she cannot personally control. And I feel as if with this Nine of Cups and my Nine of Pentacles energy, both parties need to realize that they can be by themselves and be happy. And while I know for some of you Cancers, I said that you've been single for a while and it's like, for a while you have learned to just be content being single but it's just like it's just like okay now it's i'm ready for my person and i get that i really do but dare i say you're trying too hard right you're not doing anything wrong cancer but maybe just shift your focus for a little bit right maybe after this reading take the release of being like you don't need to you don't need to be out there every single night putting out the sos signal right you can work on yourself work on being a whole person and fully independent and again i'm not saying that you whether you are or you are not just having a better sense of self um i feel like in, in the long call when it comes to this connection will be the best for you shift your focus a little bit don't you know take a little bit of a take a little of a little bit of a break my goodness when it comes to this connection when it comes to trying to manifest love Put your focus on something else. Put your focus on your pentacle energy. And you might be surprised by how quickly this person comes around towards you. Right now, though, I don't see you make, being able to make this any quicker until they get over their connection with this Three of Cups. With these two Knight of Swords, honey, they're in the process of it, right? They're definitely in that process of letting it go. But um, until they do that, like nothing else is going to happen. So you might as well just continue working on yourself at this point, right? Uh, that was the part that I have for you, my beautiful Cancer. Hopefully this reading was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to let me know in the comments. And also be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you do enjoy my reading style. But uh, I love you so much, Cancer. Have a beautiful rest of your day. That was a weird wave. Bye. <laughs>